Funding for Shaper Illus is provided by Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. More info at the end of the video. I did it. I saw the Sonic movie. Now, for a while, I thought this feature film was gonna be terrible based off of the trailers, and that's with and without Monster Sonic. I didn't think the redesign would fix the lame jokes, formulaic plot, and general terribleness. But with that said, I think this redesign is an unprecedented development in the history of cinema. Like, when has internet backlash towards pre-release materials for a movie actually worked to improve the movie when it comes out? I'm sure this has happened before, but never to this large of a degree. Sonic in this movie looked almost as good as a warm plate of delicious Olive Garden breadsticks. I was watching scenes in the movie and trying to picture what it would have looked like with Monster Sonic. Would I have any investment in those scenes at all? Yes. In the same way I was invested in cats. So, great work animators, you really pulled through and transformed this movie from a nightmarish hellscape to a perfectly average children's film that mildly amused me. I had an okay time and I was glad I saw it, and that's about it. Truth be told, I'm surprised that this movie is working so well for Sonic fans, cause it's not really a Sonic movie at all. It's just kind of a beloved animated character goes to the real world and wacky hijinks ensue movie. And the beloved character just happens to be Sonic. I don't really like those kinds of movies, like, at all, but this is probably the best movie I've seen in that very specific, very underwhelming subgenre. I was mildly invested in the characters and I didn't hate any of them, I thought there were a lot of fun moments, some kinda neat action, and a couple really funny scenes. Let me just say that when I saw Crazy Carl's drawing, I couldn't breathe. It made me laugh almost as hard as the jokes told by my local Olive Garden waiter, who feels like part of the family. But for the most part, this movie really keeps fan service to an absolute minimum, which is weird. This is a rare case where some more fan service would have been welcomed, because very little about this movie screamed Sonic at all. I'm baffled they didn't even incorporate instrumental music from Sonic games into the score, aside from one time at the very end. I should stress that I'm not really a big Sonic fan, and yet, even I felt kinda gypped by this movie. The ending certainly sets up a more traditional Sonic-y premise for a sequel, but I think my friend Jonathan put it best when he said, It's a shame we had to get through this movie before getting an actual video game adaptation. And yeah, it is a shame. There were so many times where I just wished I was watching Detective Pikachu instead. Since that movie had such an intriguing, unique world with great looking Pokemon and a fun story. There were also so many times where I wished I was at Olive Garden instead. And yeah, this movie has its moments, which I'll get to in a sec, but when it comes down to it, it's really just that typical CGI animal in real world buddy road trip movie you've seen a billion times. Just way better than usual. I really did like the dynamic between Sonic and generic white guy. I liked the scene that paid homage to the Chad Hammy from Over the Hedge, and also the Virgin Quicksilver who did the same thing but worse. I liked the scene where Sonic had to get rid of a gooey bomb. I liked seeing how he lives in his little cave. I liked that he hates mushrooms. That's a cute little jab at Mario. The scene with the turtle was really cute, and I approved of the music choice. I really liked the scene where he gets his iconic shoes. That was adorable. I enjoyed Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, and is it me or or was there so much sexual tension between him and that guy who worked for him? Like, hot damn, I see why this came out on Valentine's Day. But while the performance is great, I feel like Eggman as a character has been better written in other Sonic projects. I come to make an announcement, shadow the hedgehogs out. Like, he's certainly been funnier in the past, but yeah, that's fine. I like the one line about his egg sack, though I'm really disappointed Sonic and Robotnik didn't interact more since they played off each other really well when they did. But maybe the sequel will fix that. Like I said, Crazy Carl's drawing was definitely the best part of the movie, but a close second would have to be the mid credit scene. I won't spoil it, but I kid you not, this was the single biggest, loudest reaction I have ever witnessed at a movie theater, and it made me really happy, honestly. Not even Endgame, Force Awakens, or my annual birthday celebrations at Olive Garden elicited the same overjoyous response. And yeah, it was pretty great. It felt like a bona fide smash reveal, and it made me so happy. So that's about it. Kind of fun movie, I definitely enjoyed myself, I'm probably never gonna see it again, and uh, take the kids. This definitely felt more like a children's movie than anything I've seen in theaters in ages, but that's fine, cause they'll love it. It would've been nice if the tone could've been more dark like Detective Pikachu, or the writing could've felt more intelligent like a Pixar movie, but I'd be happy to show my hypothetical future kids this while I play a Mario game on the couch cause I'm not interested. The kids in my theater loved the movie and laughed so hard at nearly every joke, even the unfunny ones. But 
except to the movie's credit, none of the jokes were terrible, except for one fart joke, but that's it. I didn't hate myself at any point while watching this, so that's a plus. Also, some people are apparently really mad that Sonic flosses, but like, I didn't notice him flossing at any point. Besides, I thought they removed his human teeth anyway, how is he supposed to floss without teeth? I think a better question is, how is he supposed to eat Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl? I mean, have you tried their never-ending pasta? It never ends! So yeah, I'm giving Olive Garden the movie a 6 out of 10. Because when you're there, you're family. And now a word from our sponsor, which is its own segment of the video and isn't awkwardly shoved into the script at random intervals. Websites, right? We know them, we love them. It's wonderful to have your own personal place online to promote your work. But what if you don't have enough time on your hands to make one? How do you build something professional when you gotta go fast? Simple! Use Squarespace, a fantastic, intuitive online website builder that allows you to create beautiful websites for your business or personal hobby. Present your work using Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Display projects in customizable galleries and add password-protected pages to share private works with clients. You can even present your videos from YouTube, Vimeo, and Animoto on your Squarespace site. Add an image overlay to your video to improve your website's load speed by waiting to embed video players until playback starts. Pull in content from Twitter, Foursquare, Instagram, 500px, or Flickr directly into any page, sidebar, or footer of your site. In addition to configuring third-party domains, customers can purchase domains directly from Squarespace. Over 200 TLDs are currently available for purchase, and each domain comes with a beautiful parking page and free WHOIS privacy. If you're ready to share your passions or promote your business with the rest of the world, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.